Hello dear student, welcome back to e-content section of All India C. Shivarji Memorial Society's Institute of Information Technology. I am Vikram Deshmukh, Assistant Professor at Engineering Sciences Department, All India C. Shivarji Memorial Society, Institute of Information Technology, Pune. Today, I am going to cover topic Force, which is the most important topic of uh, engineering mechanics. So, the first and the four most important thing here is the definition of force because in engineering mechanics there is nothing without force. Everything is related to force only. Due to the force, only the body will be moving. That's why we need to understand what exactly is force. You might have heard a lot of definition of forces, but if I ask you exactly what is the force, most of you will not be able to explain why. Uh, explain why because all those definition are very bookish, and if I ask practically. Practically, if I ask what is the force and what will be the very simple definition that every can understand. So, let me give you that definition so that, so what is force, understand this. As we know, every machine or every structure is made up of lots of members connected together. If you consider machine members are connected together if you consider structure let's say building or a bridge then also a lot of member are connected together look at your room there is a beam there is a column a lot of things are connected together right and all these bodies are interacting with each other so force is nothing but interaction between two bodies so in simple language we can define it is an interaction between two body okay so let us understand it this with simple example uh, here in the figure you can uh, see there is a bo one box resting over another box say box number one and box number two Right now, they are connected to each other and they are interacting with each other. Now, if I ask you to draw free body diagram of box 1 only. If I ask to draw free body diagram of box 1 only, then you, uh, we have to isolate box 1 from box 2. Okay, These two boxes interacting with each other. Now, number one box is applying downward. Number one box is applying downward force on number two, whereas number two is applying upward force on number one, as shown in figure. You can see here three body diagram. You can see. You can see here three body diagram of uh, box one and box 1 applying force on uh, box 2 in downward direction whereas box 1 will also exerting support pro, uh, in upward direction on 1. So uh, this is that interaction. So the force is nothing but way of showing interaction between two bodies. Now, now let us also consider the bookish definition. Uh, so it may be defined as an external agency. It may be in terms of either push or pull, which changes or tends to change the state of rest or any form motion of a body upon which it acts. So force is trying to change the state of rest or state of any form motion of a body on which it is acting in figure you can uh, see the force in terms of 
push or pull on on right side you can see different type of forces the force may be a friction force gravity force it may be applied force it may be drag force spring force magnetic force tension force and beyond force now let us consider the characteristics of force uh, as we know force is a vector quantity that means it has magnitude and direction also so in order to uh, uh, explain force correctly we have to show its direction and magnitude and uh, different characteristics specified as below the first characteristics is magnitude so force should have magnitude second force should have direction and we should uh, give point of application of force also now what is fourth characteristic it is a sense or nature of force that means it may be pull or it may be push so force is going to push or pull the body on which it is acting now what is the effect of that force so if you apply a force on any body what will be the its effect so first effect it may change the motion of body for example uh, body is in the motion then if you apply a force it may change it change the motion of the body second it may retard the motion of the body if if you consider a bus moving with a speed of 80 km per hour and if you apply a force in terms of the brakes then it is going to retard the motion of the body it is going to start the uh, stop the motion of the body gradually third it it may be retard force already acting on body thus bringing into rest or equilibrium if you consider body is already acted by a force uh, say 100 kilo newton from one side and if you apply another force say uh, 20 kilo newton from another side then it may retard the 100 kilo newton force due to application of another force from opposite side of 20 kilo newton next fourth characteristic uh, effect it may give rise to internal stresses in the body on which it act on which it acts so now let us summarize what we have learned in today's lecture we have learned what is force concept of force we have uh, discussed about the characteristics of force we have also seen the effect of force now here are the some references for further study you can also visit uh, e-content section of AISSMS IOT Pune for to uh, for further reference you can also visit Swayam portal you can also visit Unishivaji Pune portals thank you all have a nice day happy learning let us stop here but let's learning continue